When our teams set up a cholera treatment centre, a CTC, they usually divide the centre into four areas. Three for medical activities, patient observation, hospitalisation and recovery. The fourth for staff and logistics. Chlorine plays a very important role in a cholera response. A guard will spray chlorinated water onto the soles of people's feet or shoes as they go in and out of a cholera treatment centre. We also provide chlorinated water for people to wash their hands. Next we have plastic sheeting. This covers the ground in the patient tents. It needs to be regularly cleaned and again we use a chlorine solution for this. Now for the beds. We use specialised beds with holes in them for severely dehydrated patients too weak to get up. Buckets are placed next to each bed as cholera patients suffer from vomiting and diarrhoea. Saline drips are also used but they're not required in the observation tents where patients need simple oral rehydration salts mixed with water. The staff area is used to store supplies. Treatment centres demand a lot of medical supplies and equipment. These include oral rehydration salts, chlorine, IV equipment, buckets and so on. What else is critical? Water supply. We need huge quantities of water and it has to be chlorinated to avoid the risk of contamination. Our staff prepare different chlorine solutions for everything from cleaning floors, spraying feet, washing hands and handling of corpses. Lastly, we install latrines and hand washing points to prevent the spread of cholera. In short, we have two objectives. To provide care to patients and to contain the epidemic. But it doesn't end there. Our teams will visit the whole area, treating water distribution points, raising awareness about the disease and implementing hygiene measures in homes and public spaces.